Hey there. Welcome to The Simple Podcast. I'm Todd C. Slater. Did you know that our government officials are trying out for the UFC? That's right. You know what? You never want to miss a sparring match between some of the people that hang out and pretend that they are governing officials. The other day, what ended up happening was in the House of Commons, okay, the leader of the opposition, Pierre Palavert, he turned around and he actually stood up to the prime minister and man, did he ever use profanity. He called him a wacko. Wow, you know what? And of course, everybody's little feelings got hurt. And what happens? The Speaker of the House has to turn around and start a fight. Let's take a look. When will we put an end to this wacko policy by this wacko prime minister? No, no, no. I'm going to ask the Honourable uh, Leader of the Opposition to withdraw uh, that term, which is not considered parliamentary. Mr. Speaker, I replace wacko with extremist. He is an extremist. The Honourable Member to please... I'll replace it with radical no, I'm, this policy. I am not asking to replace. I'm asking the Honourable Member to just simply withdraw. I simply withdraw and replace with the aforementioned adjective. <laughs> Mr. Poyev, I have to name you for disregarding the authority of the chair. Pursuant to the authority granted to me by Standing Order 11, I order you to withdraw from the House and from any participation by video conference to the remainder of this day city. Well, you know what? Here's the thing. You know, since he's allowed to tell uh, Pierre Palavert to, you know, leave, um, I think it's time that we tell him to leave. You know what? In fact, I think this has been the big thing Everybody's telling Craig Fergus, hey, buddy, it's time for you to get out. You know what? And it's true. You couldn't be more one-sided of a speaker of a house. So I'm sorry. Did somebody's little feelings get hurt when it was called wacko? Oh, an extremist? Well, gee, does that mean name-calling somebody an extremist? You should be throwing out? Let's see what the real ass hat has to say. On top of that, he's spending time with far-right nationalist groups, uh, refusing to condemn them or garbage conspiracy theorists like Alex Jones because he wants their votes. Think about it. That is not responsible leadership. That is dangerous for democracy. It's dangerous for Canadians. So this would be coming from the same guy that had to turn around and declare a state of emergency in Ottawa because the bouncy castles were too big? The hot tubs were too bubbly? I mean, come on. Extremist? Radical? You know what? There is nobody bigger than being an extremist than our current existing prime minister. Wacko, you know what, Pierre? I give you credit for even keeping it that simple in calling him a wacko. We all know he is way more than that. And by the way, he went off entirely half-cocked in the House of Commons. It is like a romper room. It is embarrassing. In fact, you know what? It's becoming like a sitcom, and this is becoming, on the world stage, the biggest joke of politics. You know what? We've got to do better. we got to get the right people in. It's time to get some of these people out. And in the end, you know what? As I wrap it all up, as I always do, make sure we take care of ourselves. As Canadians, you know what? Clearly, nobody, especially the leader right now of our federal government, gives a shit about Canadians. You know what? There was nothing right-leaning. He was just being called out, and he got his little feelings hurt. Thanks for tuning in.